Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tuesday tip. My name is Holland and this week what I'd really like to talk about is just the process of creating listings from Sellbrite. So kind of like from scratch, from the top, want to just go over that listing process and um, really just make sure that our users are familiar with this process and creating listings in an effective and efficient way. Because while Sellbrite does offer uh, a lot of features and functionality. Sellbrite is also primarily a listing tool. So like I said, just wanna make sure that this is really being taken advantage of by our users. So with that, we're gonna start from the top and I am in the all products page. So to get here, uh, you're just gonna to go to products and then select all products here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and select two products from my inventory here. These are both flea and tick medications and I wanna list these to eBay. So while these aren't the exact same product, which is good, um, they are products that, that have the same product category, which is why I wanna list them together. So I'm only listing two together, but this same process can be done to list 10, 20, 50, uh, or even 100 products you know, at one time. So now that I have my products selected, I'm just gonna go ahead and click list products on channel, and I'm going to select eBay. Now, What's gonna happen is I'm gonna be taken through a quick process that uh, you don't actually have to go through every single time you create a listing. What we're gonna see here is uh, a process that you'll likely only go through if it's the first time you are creating a listing um, to this channel or within this category uh, from Sellbrite. So like I said, this is a, this is a four step process and the first step is to configure my shipping settings. So right here, what I can do is I can select, you know, a shipping speed or service. I can disable free shipping or, you know, enable or disable, uh, you know, the global shipping program. But for the sake of example, let's just pretend that these default settings that Subright has just, you know, propped up for me. These are exactly the ones that I want. And I'm going to go ahead and click save and continue. Now, by clicking save and continue, I'm not just moving one step forward in this process. By doing that, what I actually just did is I just saved my, uh, my shipping settings in the form of a template. And that template is something that I can use to apply to uh, listings that I wanna create going forward. So we'll get a little bit into what that means uh, in just a bit, but for now, let's just keep going through this process. So next in line is the payment and return settings. So Similar kind of thing, right? We have some default settings already proposed to me by Cellbrite and uh, my, you know, my PayPal e uh, uh, email address is already here. We imported that actually when eBay was connected. So you can go through this stuff and basically just decide you know, what tweaks you wanna make or just keep it as is. I'll disable sales tax right now and that'll be my, um, this will be my payment and returns uh, settings like uh, I'm gonna let people return items within 60 days they're gonna get their money back so on and so forth you can tweak this uh, however you see fit now we'll go ahead and click save and continue once again I just saved that in the form of a template so now I have a shipping uh, template and I have a payment and returns template ready to go for any future listings that I create with eBay this template here this section here this is probably the one that trips people up maybe maybe the most, and this is the category section or what's gonna be my category template. So the two products that I selected, uh, their, their, their product categories were pet supplies. So what's happening here is Cellbrite automatically is searching the term pet supplies in eBay's catalog of categories. So these are the results that I get back. And if I want, I can actually browse eBay's categories and uh, you know, I can kind of go through a category tree to whittle this down and find the exact category that I want. But I'm going to try and speed that up and I'm just going to search the, the, the categories and I'm going to use a different term. I'm actually going to uh, search maybe uh, flea and tick or flea. So let's go ahead and search that. And sure enough, what I get is uh, pet supplies, dog supplies, uh, flea and tick remedies. So I'm going to go ahead and select that eBay's category number automatically populates here. And now what I've done is I've selected eBay's category. So this is gonna be the category that these two products are gonna be listed within when these, when these do go out to eBay. So I'll scroll down here a little bit 
and we get down to the item specifics. There's actually another Tuesday tip that, um, that I made and I'll, I'll link to uh, in this video. But what mapping is and what, what, what this is gonna mean as a template, real quick, right here what we see here is this category in eBay, it does require that you provide information for one field and that field is gonna be the brand field. They wanna know the brand of, of what it is that I'm selling. So what we've done here is we've mapped the eBay brand field with the product attribute brand, which means that while I might have many different brands of flea and tick uh, solutions or, or treatments, uh, they're all, all those unique brands are still going to populate in those eBay listings correctly because what this is doing is we're saying, for this eBay field, let's put this brand that's coming directly from my product in that field. So if that doesn't make too much sense, again, I've got a whole video explaining what that is, what mapping is. I don't wanna you know, go too off the rails here, but what I'm doing right now is I'm just checking my mapping and making sure that everything is the way that I want it to be. So uh, dog size, dog weight type, this is all good information for me to provide, but it's not required. So if I want to provide this, I can provide a fixed value. I can put kind of just a dog size here, uh, which, is kind of funny that it's actually in like a small, medium, large format rather than pounds, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm gonna just say that this is okay for now. Maybe I'll change this later, but I'm gonna hit save and continue. And once again, I am saving a template. This is now my category template. So here are my two drafts. And before I publish these to eBay, I'm gonna just double check them. You don't always have to do this. If you want, really, you can just go ahead and click publish to eBay. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just actually open one of these up because I want to show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about uh, when I talk about templates. So here are the different kind of sections of my listings that all live in these separate tabs. So the ones that we went over were payment and returns, right? So a template has now been applied. If I want, I can deselect this template or I can reapply it if I want. And then category and format, same thing. This template is applied. If I want, I can actually remove this and, uh, you know, I don't recommend that you do that, but I'm just kind of showing you here that this is where you can actually apply templates to your drafts. So uh, this is what it looks like. I can just double check all this information is correct. And all I have to do is go ahead and click save and publish. And that's gonna send to eBay. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, that is the process of creating a listing in eBay. Uh, this process is likely gonna be similar for you know any uh, any channel that you're listing to, there's going to be a few differences, a few tweaks because every marketplace, you know, is of course different and requ will, will require different things. Um, but that's all that I had to do. I had to go through that quick process, provide some information, and then I hit save and publish. So we can see this is active right now. This is a live listing in eBay. But just real quick, because we did touch on what uh, on what we were doing in that process, and that was creating templates. And I've shown you here that I can remove and apply templates. But let's go to where the templates actually live in Cellbrite. So if I go to settings, and from settings, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to uh, listing templates and recipes, and I'm gonna select eBay. So here are the templates that I actually just made by going through that process. So now when I go to create a listing for that category, all of these templates should automatically apply to that draft I created, and then all I have to do is click Save and Publish. I don't have to go through that every time. Uh, if I want, I can actually just make new templates here. I don't necessarily have to do this by going through the listing process. I can come to this section in Cellbrite, and I can say, well, you know, my payment and returns, that's likely gonna be the same for all of my listings. You know, my policy doesn't really change there in terms of you know, refunds and returns and uh, the types of payments that I accept. But I do create, or I'm, gonna, I'm going to create listings for products that all have different product categories. Maybe I, I sell a lot more than just, you know, flea and tick medication. I sell all kinds of products. So I can actually just come in here and create a new category template and, uh, and, and basically just do what I did, but not necessarily in the listing process. So what this does is this means when I build it here, if I wanna go create a listing tomorrow or next week, I've got these templates ready to go uh, and I can just apply them to my drafts and then quickly publish those, those listings out. So that was the process. I'm gonna jump real quickly back here into eBay and show you um, this one listing that I, that I published. So that, that's, all, that's all it took, right? Just a few, a few steps, 
a few steps that I don't have to go do ever again. And um, yeah, that got me a live listing in eBay. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you do have any follow-up questions, you can of course uh, comment on this video or contact a support agent. Uh, you can get in touch with us at support uh, at sellbright.com. So give us a shout if you run into any trouble and thanks for watching.